in this world who are different, special. They look like us and they act like us, but they are not us. And one of them is missing. Did you just run into an open locker, Cyrus? Taking the geek thing a little far, aren't you? I barely slept last night. I couldn't pay attention in English this morning. How are you pulling it off? Pulling what off? Hello, we're meeting Badger tonight. He's gonna tell you everything about where you came from. I know. Not to mention this whole child catcher thing. So why are you acting so normal? Because every time I've asked him a question, he answers with another question. Why did you leave me the hoverboard? Why do you think? Why don't you answer the question? Don't you already know the answer? Well, in just a few hours, we can find out who you really are, who your real family is. You'll always be my brother, sorry. No matter what we learn about my other family. Whoa, did you just find out you're adopted? Brinley, uh, were your parents lying to you or something? That's, well, it explains a lot. What's that supposed to mean? Maybe that's why they bought you that freaky flying backpack. Capital G guilt. This is none of your business, Brinley. I'm sorry, Holiday. If you want to talk about it sometime, we could do it on my Insta. Go away. Okay, going away. And don't worry, your secret is safe with me. <laughs> oh, great. I have to deal with this. Brinley, wait up! Brinley! Hey, Bryn, um, can you believe Cyrus back there? Just because I don't get an A on my first history assignment, he pretends like we're not related. Mm. Brinley, come on. You don't seriously think Cyrus was telling the truth, do you? I mean, it would be so much easier for me if he wasn't my brother, but he totally is. You believe me, right? Time for class. Happy Friday, class. I hope everyone had the chance to look at the extra credit question I posted yesterday. Ten-point lead on the next exam to the first person who gives the correct answer. Oh, Mr. Strain. Yes, Brindley. It was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Work equals force times distance, so if you're solving for work and force is seven and distance is three, then work is 21. Duh. Wrong. Excuse me? Um, I mean, in actuality, work is defined as a function of acceleration which is a derivative of velocity, which is the vector form of a distance over time. Without accounting for those factors, 21 is a rough estimate, but not the most accurate. We can't actually know the work until we know the time. Obviously. What? How does she know that? Was that in her homework? That's actually correct. Holiday, how'd you know that? I was homeschooled. Right, Brindley? <laughs> So, as fun as recording voice memos in my phone is, I could really use your advice, Dr. Farber. There's a lot going on. I mean, a lot. Not just with my family, but now at school, too. I don't know what's happening to me. How did I know those answers? You're not telling Dr. Farber about what Badger told you, are you? Why not? You practically told the whole school. Did you fix it with Brindley? I don't know. Maybe. Look, Holiday, can I have your jello? They were all out when I got there. Sure. So how was science? It was educational. What happened? So Brindley was showing off, and I really wanted to shut her up. So I corrected her, and I kind of went all quantum physics on everyone. Vectors and functions. And... Since when do you know anything about physics? I don't know. It was like... In my head, the question broke up into these little pieces, and it just kind of clicked together. I was saying words I never knew before. Maybe I'm like a long-lost Einstein or something. <laughs> I don't think Einstein was so good on a hoverboard. But how did I know all that stuff? You gonna eat anything? Only ten minutes left in lunch. 
Ugh, three more periods so we can meet up with Badger. God, I feel like three days. Right here. Can we please get out of here? Already sent mom and dad a text saying that we're going to the mall. If we buy card, we can be at the radio tower in 20 minutes. Ready or not, Badger, here we come. Hey, guys. Welcome to the weekend. Um, hi. Mom, Dad, what are you doing here? We're here to pick you up. Didn't you get my text? I did, but your father and I have a surprise for you. Surprise? Did you hear? We're going camping! 